Hey everybody, Ozone B here, getting ready to start another five day hardcore no armor challenge. The last one went swimmingly. After two days, Creeper got me. If you want, if you haven't seen that one, go ahead and check out the only other video on my channel currently, but you know, you, you can find it. This one is going to be another hardcore challenge. And look at this spawn boy right here on top of this jungle tree, jungle tree, I think. Anyway, um, we are getting ready to get started, and let's just pop right into it, and then we can talk about the challenge. <clears throat> All right, now we are ready to get going. So this challenge, we're in the new 1.18, and this challenge is to achieve the Caves and Clips achievement by falling from the maximum world height to the minimum world height all the way from height 320 down to minus 64 in, uh, and getting that achievement. That is the goal of this challenge, is to get that achievement. It's a brand new achievement to 118 and uh, quite an interesting one at that. Now, it clearly we can, we can just start um, digging a hole and then and making a platform. But I'm gonna try to wander around and uh, see if we can find a, a nice hole to start with, something that goes real deep. Because digging down to minus 64 is going to be a big, big time sink. It's gonna take a lot of time. Which, honestly, five days may not have. We'll just have to see. First order of business, though, is the usual day one uh, preparations. <clears throat> Let's get started with an X, of course, and collecting a bunch of wood. We are going to need uh, a bunch of ladders in order to <laughs> speak of the devil. There you are. Uh, a bunch of ladders in order to get out of the hole that's been dug but one thing at a time that's going to take a lot of wood and we have to uh survive the night somewhere safe maybe you know maybe we just start digging straight on down do the dwarf diggy hole thing right maybe we start that and just spend the night digging down and uh just make sure i got enough ladders to get back up um, I've, I've th been thinking about how best to accomplish this, uh, <clears throat> and um, I think uh, while a one by one hole is sufficient, when you're jumping from world height, if you happen to miss <laughs> that one by one hole, it is going to be game over. This is hardcore. There's only one chance. We do. We can only give it one shot. So. I'm thinking that we'd make a two by two hole and therefore can more easily make sure that we land in the hole. And of course, um, you know, you need water down there once you're, once you finally reach the bottom in order to not die. <clears throat> now this is not an ultra hardcore. Um, Honestly, I'm not a good enough player for Ultra Hardcore, I think. But um, we will see what we will see. Right now, it's just getting a bunch of wood. Trying to get as much as we can. There's a big old jungle tree over here that will probably take quite a while to get, but work really well for giving us the amount of wood that ouch not good um let's see i really don't know what to talk about this is this is the boring part here and i i feel like my plan of attack is going to be sufficient right we don't really have to go very far we just got to find a good spot to try to dig the hole so that we can get down to the bottom of the world that may take some time to accomplish and we're certainly going to be using a lot of pickaxes 
Um, so, boring. I hope it's not boring, but it might be. We shall see. <clears throat> now, I made reference to the previous uh, challenge attempt <clears throat> in my intro here. So if you didn't see it, um, basically I was trying to collect a, a piece of wool for each color that was uh, supported, all 16 colors of wool. And I spent the first night running around trying to find the special biomes that are necessary to get the, the dyes that to get all 16 colors, uh, namely jungle and, and uh, desert and warm ocean. And in the end, I did find uh, a sparse jungle, but it was nighttime. I decided to risk it, and in the end, a creeper dropped down right next to me and ended the, the show. So, you know, you can't always win. I try. I really want to try, but, you know, it's not always going to happen. This may also end up in a spectacular failure. Any wrong turn, falling off this tree, for instance, might be enough to end the game you know we can only do our best um, so one thing that I probably neglected to mention is yes this is a hardcore challenge but I, I cannot wear armor even if I find it somewhere already crafted I'm trying to say that you know make it more interesting add more challenge etc I can't wear armor <clears throat> And that certainly does make things easier. It makes me, well, very squishy. And so I, I'm going to tend to play it safe. You know, you've only got one life here. You've only got one chance. And um, what else are you going to do? Come on. Great. Do, do, do. So now we get to take the tree all the way down. Try not to die in the process. Kind of looking out here while I'm up really high, and I'm, I'm not seeing any great caves. This jungle makes it really hard to see very far. So we... This is probably a good enough start on wood, and so I think we need to start running around trying to find a good old cave, trying to get us down deep to the bottom of the world. We're going to need um, lots of pickaxes, and that'll have to come, you know, pretty pretty quickly. So the ocean or the river down there is typically at an elevation of 60 or 63 <clears throat> so that means in order to reach the bottom of the world and uh, we got to go down to minus 64 so that's a digging down about 128 blocks now we as we know deep slate is much more prevalent below zero uh, and it's excluding you know, all you find below zero and digging through deep slate requires well a lot more time it's a lot harder Woezy bozy. Let's look at all that we do. Here I am collecting all this wood to make ladders and, well, a bunch of scaffolding would probably work just fine. But nevertheless, I'm going to need sticks to make all those ladders. And bamboo will work really well to give me all those sticks. Right? Much better than I think the logs will. You get four planks per log, and you get, mm, let's see, four sticks per two planks, so you get eight sticks per log, and, you know, I'm already, it takes two, two bamboo to make a stick, so I'm, it's just so easy to collect so much of it that I should probably not use my axe and just use my fist or something. Kind of being a little myopic, um, not really looking around for mobs or dangers. Um, it 
it's currently day. It's not going to stay day for very... Oh, yeah, boy, that sun is going down. We're going to have to find a place to hide or start digging or something pretty quick. And I think I'm going to call it quits on collecting the bamboo and start trying to find some place worth, worth digging down. The trees are definitely making this difficult to search. And you know what? I think maybe right out there, a little ways away from the shore, is going to be a really good option. So let's get a shovel, and we need some more planks in order to get a pick. And you know, we're going to need a lot of planks. So let's just let's put them all into planks. Let's also nope. Take all those into sticks, and it's getting dark. Let's get out of here. All right, so I'm going to stay out here and kind of get rid of some water as a, as a way to stay safe while we, while we dig. So there's my two by two and let's get some sand to fill that in I don't need those and then let's start digging down and see where we get and hopefully we don't fall into a giant ravine or something I'm also going to need to let's make all the ladders We're, we should be safe here nothing can see us um, and let's just make a bunch wait the recipe for ladders okay there's ladders 30 ladders Got another two stacks of bamboo. That'll get us another bunch of ladders so we can go 57 deep with what we currently have on us, which is, should be good enough to get to pass the night anyway. And because this is a, a five day challenge, I mean, I could, in theory, try to find uh, some sheep. Oh, we've got some more water and um could find some sheep and make a bed and you know pass the night away that way but that just eats into the five days the five days is the same whether you spend the night or not so oh boy generally speaking i don't see any reason why we should be sleeping not on this kind of challenge <clears throat> and I really need some stone I really need some stone not diorite because I need to get move up to a cobblestone pickaxe and move away from this stupid wood there we go all right now we're into a bunch of andesite which doesn't really help but at the same time, I got what I wanted. I got enough stone that I can make after I make some sticks. I can make a cobblestone pickaxe. <clears throat> and it's dark down here. I hope that you can see well enough. It's going to get real dark. You know what? Let me change my video options. Oh yeah, good. It's on bright. So we should be good to go. And I am doing the old trick where you like stand in between two blocks so you never are digging directly underneath you. I should be smack in the middle and never be digging directly under me with four blocks. 
that's the better way to go. Oh, I am not remembering to do ladders because we got to be able to get out of here. Did I? Oh, criminy. All right. It helps if you put all your ladders in the same place, in the same row. Goodness. Now, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to need them. I'm going to need them. we got to go collect them. That's it. Come on. Hope you don't get sick. There we go. I should be able to just fall one block at a time onto the tops of the ladders all the way down until my pickaxe breaks. There we go. Boom. Now we're back. All right. Continuing down. We did pass some copper up there. And you know what? In my normal game, I'd be all over threat that. Copper is just not... Whoa. Lapis? Are we down that low already? That is pretty amazing. All right. What do we got in here? I don't... Do, 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 and let's get rid of the water. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't think that we would see Lapis uh, this this high. I honestly don't know what Y level we're at. I mean, it looks like if that's 60, we're probably only down to 40 or 30. I guess, I guess that's low enough for Lapis. I don't know what I'm going to do with it can't say as I need it for anything. Um, I will need a bucket. I will need some iron um, in order to get some water. That would be nice to have. You know, now that I got a ladder anyway, I can get out. I'm digging down really fast. There we go. Let's keep on digging. I mean, what else we got to do to pass the night away? And this is like the safest place we can be until we drop into a cave which will likely happen and will probably not be a great thing but we'll figure it out I don't have I haven't seen any coal to make torches uh, I do I could smelt some of these logs into car charcoal and make torches but you know, that's not super important right now. I'm also going to need all this stone to get way up high. That is going to be the bigger expenditure. <laughs> that is going to take more resources. All right, well, now it's time to get another pickaxe. You know what? I've got this wooden one. It's slow, but let's let's at least use it up. I'm going to need ladders all the way up to 320. So if we're at 62 or whatever at the sea level and we're going up to 320, that's that's a lot of blocks. That's a lot of ladders. We hit some clay, which is unusual. I don't know that I remember seeing clay in the wild down in the depths of the world. Um, I know that clay is part of the lush caves biome, and so part of me, boy, part of me uh, kind of wants to go explore, see if there's a lush cave biome there. And passing up all that copper, it kind of hurts. On a fundamental level, that kind of hurts. But again, I'm, I don't know what I'll do with it. Oh, that, that was potentially bad. Potentially bad. All right, there we go. Let's. Go ahead and make. Another axe, because I think we're probably going to need it anyway. We're going to probably chop down more trees or something. Iron. All right, I will branch out and get this iron 
because that uh, when we get down to deep slate, we got a lot of deep slate to dig through. That's going to go slow. We're going to need all the help we can get. If we can find some diamonds, that'll be even better. I think I can just leave that empty. Oh, let me um, continue to ladder. You know what? No. No, I'm going to fill that in. I wouldn't want to see a mob spawn there and do something regrettable as we're digging down. Oh, there we go. It's the end of day two. We have made some pretty significant progress, don't you think? Hmm, there we go. We're down to, well, Y0 or something close. I think Deep Slate starts can go up to Y4. So we're pretty close to halfway there to the bottom of the world side of getting this accomplishment. But that's it for now. So catch you next time.